hello. It is Sunday, January 22nd, and I am here in Toronto at the Yacht Club with my friend Gail. And I am here tonight to receive an award. Yay! At the start of December, I was notified by this lovely lady, Brenda, who is the committee chair for the Canadian Safe Boating Council, that I had won an award. The award, a special recognition award for 2022, is in recognition of promoting boating safety in all videos. This award is special recognition, which is presented to an individual, organization, or company that deserves special recognition for the work they do. So, who is Christine Sherman, aka Camper Christina? St. Catharines, Ontario, and as a child loved to be in nature, getting dirty and checking out the frogs, the snakes, and butterflies. She camped in her backyard because that was her only option, not knowing what laid ahead of her in life. In July of 2002, she went on her very first backcountry canoe trip in Algonquin Park, and that was it. She fell in love with it. In 2015, she entered a contest, and although she did not win it, she did get hooked on social media. In July of that year, she posted her first blog on camper, camperchristina.com, followed by her own YouTube channel, as well as Twitter and Instagram, and educated herself to learn more about what she loved doing. In April 2021, she was deeply affected by the number of issues that were occurring in Ontario's backcountry due to overuse by inexperienced people during COVID, in particular, a drowning that occurred on Lake Obiongo. Uh, she felt the need to take action and spent five months creating an online course to teach people how to backcountry camp. Over 10 people took the time to nominate Christina for a CASPA, including the mother of nine-year-old Scarlett, who said that Scarlett watches every single one of Christina's videos, adding that Christina is a fantastic role model to children and adults alike. It's, it's inspiring them to go out and explore the wilderness safely and always promoting PFD wear. This was echoed by another nominator who said her videos have helped countless women brave their first solo trip and new campers take on their first backcountry trip in a safe and respectful manner. Her influence has even helped to change the face of the paddling sports in Ontario with her appearances and talks at various events on podcasts and other YouTube channels. She is a single woman, a true rarity in the male-dominated world of paddle sports. She puts herself out there without a partner or husband by her side, which is what we mostly see when women present topics in regards to the outdoors. Today, this is the size of community of Chris that Christina has built. Over 500 videos on YouTube channel, uh, over 77,000 subscribers and over 1 million view, views, all wearing a PFD. And then there is her social numbers. And her fans can catch her live presenting at the upcoming Toronto Outdoor Adventure Show, where she has been presenting there for the past four years. I will add that Christina works full time as a bookkeeper, so she does all of this in her spare time. The CSBC is proud to recognize Christina Sherman with a special recognition CASPA for her promotion of boat safety in her videos and courses.
The evening was wonderful and it was spent with like-minded people like my friends Lauren and Steve from Salas Marine. I was also honored to meet other award recipients like Frosty Labrador, Prince Craft, Constable Jody Hoff. Unfortunately, Dr. Audrey Giles wasn't there, but her story was incredible. And this woman, Alice Verrata, was amazing. Danny Pellet was honored with an award, but unfortunately couldn't make it. Constable James Lyman was there, who gave an amazing speech. And I was in awe listening to the story of Rescue of the Year from Elizabeth Arrington and Arthur Winans, who came all the way from British Columbia. And it was wonderful to congratulate everyone who won an award and get to hear their stories. I also had the great pleasure of meeting Sergeant Dave Moffitt, who is the Marine Program Coordinator for the OPP. Sergeant Moffitt is working on a campaign to make the wearing of life jackets or personal flotation devices while in vessels under six meters mandatory. Thank you so much to the Canadian Safe Boating Council for this prestigious award and thank you to everyone who nominated me and who promotes safety on the water.